name is Michelle and welcome to my vegan kitchen. So today I'm excited because guess what we're making? Quesadillas! Oh, I love quesadillas. But you know, when I went plant-based, you know, some foods weren't available to plant-based or vegan uh, people, but now we are able to have quesadillas. There is vegan cheese and it is good vegan cheese. But guess what the surprise is? I am going to use jackfruit. So instead of the chicken, we're gonna use jackfruit to make these quesadillas. So let's do this, guys, let's go. Okay, guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is get the skillet heated. So let's get the flame on to about medium. So I have my skillet ready, it's a cast iron skillet. I love to use cast iron because it just heats evenly and it's just safer, it's non-stick um, once you season it. But here's my skillet, we're gonna get it hot, medium heat, and let's go and get this jackfruit. So the jackfruit that I'm using is young jackfruit. So it's green, young jackfruit, it comes in a can. Uh, jackfruit is a huge, huge, huge fruit. And you can eat it once it's fully ripened, it's really sweet. That's why we use young jackfruit. Young jackfruit really has no like taste or flavor, but it has the texture of chicken. So let's open it up. Now jackfruit comes in a brine. So it comes in a water and sometimes that brine gives the jackfruit this weird briny taste. See, jackfruit looks like that. Let me take one out so you can see. Okay, so it looks like that. I'm just gonna pour the whole thing in a spit in a colander <laughs> to strain. And I'm gonna rinse it under really warm water. So I'm just gonna rinse the jackfruit. While I'm rinsing it, I'm gonna break it up. Because I really wanna get in, get in there so the brine is released. And this doesn't have like a weird candy taste. Even though I'm gonna season it really well. Some people, however, cook the jackfruit to get rid of that briny taste, but you don't really have to do this because like I said, we're gonna make quesadillas and I'm gonna season up this jackfruit really well with some taco seasoning so you won't even taste any brininess even if it had it. So once the jackfruit is rinsed, all I'm gonna do is squeeze out the water. So that's why I use the colander because we wanna really squeeze out that water before we get it in the skillet. And that skillet is heating up. I'm just gonna add some oil to it. So notice I'm just squeezing out all of the water. Okay guys, so this is what the jackfruit looks like once I got all the water out. It just looks like shredded chicken, basically. So in my skillet, I'm gonna add some oil and I like to use grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil is just great um, oil to heat at a high temperature, it doesn't break down, so it's not gonna be harmful to the body. So I'm gonna take my jackfruit and add it right to that nice heated skillet. And then we grab a spoon, just saute it around, and give it a minute, maybe a minute or two, to brown up. Okay, so once my jackfruit starts to brown a little bit, I like to season it with a little bit of better than bouillon um, chicken seasoning. So just a little bit. This stuff gets really salty. So I'm just gonna grab, oops, I'm down to the end, like that much, okay? I'm gonna put it right in here with my jackfruit and just kind of mix it up, kind of get the seasoning all the way through because that's really gonna season it all up. And then I keep, letting it brown up just leave it to, and allow it to brown up a little bit more all right my jackfruit has browned up really nicely so take a look so see it has browned up really nicely so what i'm gonna do now is season it with just a little bit of taco seasoning so i'm just using regular store-bought taco seasoning i'm not gonna use like all of it i'm just gonna use a little bit just to add a little flavor and a little spice and a little punch to that jackfruit because like I said, it gets kind of briny and we just want that flavor to be out. I'm just gonna toss that around so everything gets seasoned well with it. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of water and I'm talking about a drop of water, maybe a third of a, maybe a, third of a cup of water. So 
we're also gonna add liquid smoke. This is a vegan secret weapon. It gives everything a nice smoky flavor. So this chicken, or um, what we call in jackfruit, is gonna taste like you smoked it outside on a smoker. Oh, that's yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy in my tummy. All right, and that's nice and browned up. Now that my jackfruit is all browned and seasoned, it's basically cooked. So we're just gonna do the switcheroo. We're gonna remove this skillet. I'm just gonna place that on the side. And then I'm gonna get my tortilla shell skillet. I'm just gonna heat that up a little bit. So I'm using a nice wide um, skillet. This way I can add my flour tortilla. So I'm just gonna take my flour tortilla I'm gonna place it right in the skillet. Bring that back. I'm gonna add jackfruit. So that's my cooked jackfruit. I'm adding. And I'm gonna make three quesadillas. So I'm just gonna divide it by thirds and just use a third of the jackfruit. Then, I'm going to add some black beans. And I'm just using regular old canned black beans. Black beans from the can. So I'm adding my black beans. And I add a generous amount. I wanna make sure I'm getting my, my protein. So I add that in. And then I'm gonna add cheese. Okay, now I'm gonna add my cheese. And like I said, cheese for vegans have come a long way. This is Bio Life cheese, and this is one of my favorites. So I'm just gonna put all this cheese in here and put as much as you like, but I'm gonna be a bad girl. I'm gonna put a little mozzarella cheese in here. Now, usually quesadillas don't have mozzarella cheese, but I'm gonna put a little bit in there. So I'm gonna put that in there, and then, just to get everything going, I'm gonna just cover this for like, maybe like 30 seconds. Okay, after my 30 seconds or so, I'm just gonna remove the cover, I'm gonna take a look at my quesadilla, and then I'm just gonna flip it over. Look how nice that is. I'm just gonna move it to the center of the pot, and then I'm gonna cover it again, and just allow the cheese to melt a little. That might take like a minute or so. All right, I gave it about two minutes so that the cheese would really melt. I'm just gonna put this on a cutting board and look how nice that is. And that's my quesadilla. I'm gonna use a pizza cutter. Ooh, that is nice. Just to cut it in quarters. And then I'm gonna repeat the process with the other two. Yep, that's a nice quesadilla right there. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? 
ready to see me taste it? I know. If I was y'all, I'll be waiting to see me taste it too. I don't know which one to get. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. And I cut these kind of small. Some people cut them a little bit bigger, but ooh, look at all that nice melty cheese. I'm gonna put just a little bit of guacamole on there. It's still a little hot, so if this don't go down right, it's y'all fault. All right, here we go. Mmm, it's really hot. Mmm, 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 mmm. This is good. This is real good. Let me swallow this. I can finish with my my exit. Okay, this is a really delicious, fun way to enjoy jackfruit. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you will see jackfruit is not my most favorite meat type substitute, but the, in this recipe, it was really good. Just season it right. Remember to wash it to get that briny taste out, or like some people do, they boil it. But believe me, there was no briny taste in this at all. But thank you guys for joining me for another recipe in my vegan kitchen. I hope you join me next time. I got plenty of recipes. And guys, don't forget to subscribe. Just hit that subscribe button below. See you guys next time.